Hey, what's up, you guys? Tom is back with another Lincense video. Um, before I get into the fragrance of the day, well, as far as for me, um, man, I read this thing up um, on the news the other day um, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm from Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Um, and says the guy, guy um, filed a police report saying someone stole his tire the night before Thanksgiving and in replace of the tire they just left a turkey by the tire now you cannot make that shit up I am not BSing you there was a story a guy got his tire jacked and they left a frozen butterball turkey probably butterball genio I don't know what it was but they left a frozen turkey in the spot where his tire would have been <laughs> like <laughs> i could just picture it now like while they're fucking like taking the tire off of the guy's car they're like gobble gobble motherfucker and then just left the turkey there. or like this motherfucker ain't going nowhere anyways you might as well cook this bird up dude only in wisconsin can some shit like that happen well not all of wisconsin but milwaukee man leave a fucking guy Without a tire, probably has to get up early in the morning and work. But you leave him a fucking turkey. I guess, I guess if there was any silver lining out of that, it was like you know he had a free turkey right there. So you know maybe he cooked it the following day or something because it was probably frozen. You know them damn things need like four fucking days of defrost. But uh, yeah, if there's any silver lining to that um, story, the guy got a free turkey out of it. But man, that's bogus bullshit if you ask me man someone's stealing someone's tire and leaving a fucking turkey gobble gobble motherfucker you ain't going nowhere you better cook this shit up they probably fucking came back the next day and fucking asked for some turkey and shit you know they probably would but anyways man let's get on with the fragrance of the day for me man um it's a nice 45 degree day here in milwaukee wisconsin right now nice and breezy but the nice thing about today is there is not a cloud in the sky it's nice and sunny man there's just something about a nice sunny day regardless of what the temperature is outside when you see the nice sun with no clouds there's kind of like a glimmering of hope that you know days are going to be better um it's those days when it's like gloomy and stuff it just feels like the whole damn day is just shit but man when you get one of those nice beautiful sunny no cloud days Man, it just feels like, man, there's, like I said, a glimmer of hope. Feels like you got some kind of, uh, something good is coming your way when you see that sun outside. So, with that being said, I wanted a fragrance that kind of smelled fresh, spicy, aquatic. Something that was good to go along with this hoodie. Something to go good with just going into a store, going to a Walmart, going to the mall. Um... You know, people are going to be like, that's not the right time to wear this because it's a summer and spring fragrance. But man, summer and spring fragrances are good no matter what time of year, okay? Especially if you are just planning on going into the car, out of the car, into a store. Back outside for a little bit, in your car, back home, okay? Now, if you plan on staying outdoors all day in a fall, like today, 45 degree day, then you go with like a nice fall fragrance, okay? But no matter what, wear whatever the hell you want, okay? With that being said, I went with this bad boy right here. Nautica Voyage N83. I'm an 83 baby anyway, so that's why I want to get this one. But man, I've smelled the original Voyage and I liked it. It was a nice crisp. I believe there was an apple in that one as well that I really liked in that fragrance. And it was a pretty damn decent good performer too like had a nice little projection like arm's length projection it was a nice cheap fragrance less than 20 bucks probably 15 bucks if you can go get it at the discount stores but i actually never owned a bottle i've just smelt it this one i did pick up i just wanted it because it said 83 on it to be honest but man was i quite pleased when i sprayed this for the first time and let me tell you guys i'm gonna spray right here 
on the left, I already got a dry down. It's been drying down for at least two hours already. But that opening, that aquatic with the little fresh spice with the lavender, you got lavender, you got cardamom, you got, uh, I believe you got oak moss in here. Um, no, you got musk, uh, cedar, and um, um, sandalwood, I believe, are the base notes. The top is aquatic notes, and um, I believe it's um, pedigrain and, man, I forgot, it's some other kind of um, green note, but whatever. This stuff, man, if you want to just smell fresh, you want to smell spicy, you want to smell like you just came out of the shower, you want to smell good all day, you want to please whoever is around you. If you don't want to offend anybody, you can spray this heavy and you're not going to offend anybody. You want a pretty decent performance, about at least five to six hours easily. And like I said, with this one, you're going to get at least an arm's length projection. So anyone who's at least, you know, somewhat three feet close to you is going to get a nice whiff of this and they're going to enjoy it. They might not give you the greatest compliment. They might not give you a compliment at all. But like I said in previous videos, a lot of times people are just kind of shy to come up to you and say hey you smell good so you know people are probably thinking it in their mind that man this guy smells good i just don't want to go up there and seem like a creep and tell them so don't be don't worry about if you don't get compliments with stuff just know that people probably do think you smell great they're just afraid to tell you but man like i said if you just want something nice fresh aquatic it's gonna last you about a good five to six hours it's friendly on the wallet, $20 or less, depending on where you get it. You can probably get it for $15 or less. This stuff, you can't go wrong, man. Go into the gym, bam, here's your bottle. You go into the store, bam, here's your bottle. You go into the mall, bam, here's your bottle for you, okay? Go into the, uh, to the mall today. Man, even from that cap, it smells excellent. Man, I like this stuff. It's nice. Like I said, it's nice, fresh, aquatic, little green spice. This stuff is beautiful, man. It's not. It's not gonna wow everybody. It's not gonna wow those people that are like, man, get rid of the cheapies. Oh my God, look at the another cheapie, another cheapie, dude. I'm not gonna go to a fucking mall like smelling like a hundred thousand bucks. You don't need to do all that, dude. You don't need to do all that. Go with what, see, a lot of times me personally, I like smelling fragrances based off occasion. I don't really go based off of like weather and stuff like that, seasonal type stuff. I'm more based off occasion. And today, this was the perfect occasion for this fragrance right here. Just going about my day, going to the store, going to the mall, going to do a little Christmas shopping, got a nice little hoodie on, got some sweats, man. This is the one for you guys. Nautica Voyage N83 represent that 83 baby. But man, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful month of December coming up. Man, we're almost out of this 2020. Um, hopefully 2021 brings brighter days, man. We don't know yet, but man, hopefully it does. But man, this thing definitely has brightened up my day today. Smells excellent. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the like button, hit the comments, subscribe. See you next time, all right? Peace out. Yeah.